Look at that. So all three Chanel 22 sizes in one shot. We have the small, we have the large, and we have the medium one, which I prefer. But oh, I'm so happy. Okay, let's go in. and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is kindly sponsored by Lily Silk and I'm gonna show you all the beautiful products I received from them in a second. Um, also guys, if you find anything on their website, have a look, Mother's Day is coming up soon. Um, you know, you can use my code, use my code RM12 to get 12% off. And guys, if you find anything, please let me know in the comment section down below. Um, Cause I had a look of course as well and they have so many amazing pieces. I got three, I got three beautiful pieces myself. Okay guys, look at this beautiful packaging. And also let me tell you a little bit about the benefits of silk. Silk is light as air. That means you're basically feeling like you're hardly wearing anything at all. And let's be honest, summer's coming up. It's slowly getting warmer. You know, what else could you wish for? Um, than you know really light comfortable clothes um, silk is also buttery soft it's a breathable material you know that means it feels beautifully on the skin it feels luxurious but it's also skin friendly and just as a little reminder guys mother's day is coming up and i think anything you could find on the lily silk website is probably a wonderful gift idea um, for Mother's Day. Look at this beautiful vintage halter neckline dress with a cross collar. Um, this absolutely gorgeous piece is from the 2022 Spring Collection. It gives you a really sleeveless silhouette with body shaping tailoring elements and it's suitable for a variety of seasons and to be honest I think it really flatters your figure and it suits any shape. Also I think guys you could really bring this look from daytime to nighttime. Let me know what you think about it. I think you know I just want to Go on summer holiday wearing this that's the mood i'm in <laughs> so love mixing it with those little pink cute bow shoes and i'm gonna show you now how you can easily transform this from like a day to a night outfit look at that that immediately gives us an entirely different feel right so you can wear this dress like i said in any kind of season i mean it looks great right just like the blue navy kind of dress and this little beautiful detail of course with the blazer on top. I don't know. I love it. And look at this beautiful skirt guys. I really fell in love with it the moment I saw it. Um, it actually comes in like a terracotta kind of color as well. It's quite pretty too. Definitely go and check it out. And the outer layer was made using polyester satin with heat pressed pleats to ensure of course that the pleats will remain throughout multiple washes. And it is lined with 100% mulberry silk for extra comfort. You guys know I love purple and black more than anything. And pink, yes. <laughs> so I'm wearing all the colors I love right now. And for anybody who loves more of like a cool, edgy look, you know, maybe the other outfits were a little bit too elegant. Um, I can only give you this kind of inspo. I've got this really cool little bra top that I absolutely love. And then you just put like a little blazer on top again and, you know, gives me like Coachella vibes, <laughs> except for the blazer. <laughs> but hey, we're in London and it's still colder here. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you guys know I love lace so much. So let me know what you think. That just shows you how great a piece like that is because you can completely create different like looks and entirely different vibes. Well, hello again. <laughs> So this is my personal highlight. Guys, I've been waiting for this blazer dress for so, so long. I really always wanted to get it. And now I finally got it and I think it is absolutely fabulous. Okay, I mean, you know, it is made out of polyester and viscose on the outside. However, the lining, the beautiful interior lining, like there I can show it to you, <laughs> is made out of 100% mulberry silk. And I don't know why, guys, it gives me a kind of Balmain vibes, right? I mean, look at this. Even look at the buttons. <laughs> you know, that's how I feel right now. I love it. I really always wanted to have this one. I finally got it. And again, I think it looks very amazing with my little Dolce & Gabbana bag, doesn't it? Okay, guys, so I hope you enjoyed all the different outfits. Let me know which one was your favorite. Uh, it's still pretty early, so if you guys noticed, I still haven't put my makeup on. <laughs> so let me quickly, whoo, falling, let me quickly put my makeup on and then we're off and we're gonna go and film our vlog today. What I quickly wanted to add as well, of course you can wear this beautiful blazer dress as a blazer as well on top of clothes, right? But I, I think I'm gonna wear it as 
a blazer dress. Are we ready for our vlog today? I'm just waiting for my bubble tea. Best bubble tea in London, Kupacha. <laughs> and then I'm ready to start the day. Hi okay, guys, so cheers. I got my bubble tea, I'm ready for the day. Um, okay, so what do we do today? Today we're going to Dior, Louis Vuitton and Chanel. We're going to Chanel again because I don't know what happened. I don't know, maybe I'm possessed by a demon, I have no idea. <laughs> but I absolutely fell in love with the Chanel 22 bag. How did that happen? I've got no clue, <laughs> to be honest. So my issue is that I'm scared that I, it's a, it's, a, it's a modern, it's an it bag kind of thing, right? I mean, please let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I love it. I don't know why. I saw so many pictures over Instagram, you know, I watched every video that's already available on YouTube. On the back, basically, I tried this beautiful baby pink one on. And guys, my heart loves it and I really want to get it. However, will I love it in two years' time? Will I already think in five months? Oh God, like, what was I thinking? Like, why did I buy it? So, you know, I don't know. Please help me. <laughs> but we're going to look at Chanel 22 bags again. I haven't seen the small one yet. So I'm gonna try and find that one too. Um, <laughs> also guys, um, I've seen this beautiful Dior, Lady Dior crystal diamond bag. It has such a beautiful structure and leather and finish and I really hope they have it. Okay guys, I just arrived on Bond Street and we have all the flagship stores here. I would say let's go Dior first, then Louis Vuitton and then we look at my little Chanel 22 bag. That would be awesome. Um, let's see what's in the window display. Okay, I think they haven't changed it yet. Pretty sure we have seen this before. Do we like these? I can't wait to see if they have the crystal bag, the crystal Lady Dior. This is so much more outstanding than these pieces. Let's go in. Okay, guys. Wow, look at these summery pieces. Beautiful little grey mini Lady Dior. And what do we think about the east-west pieces? Oh my god, that's a lion right there, right? It's embroidered with pearls. Can we see that? Beautiful. Okay, it's flickering again. Really sorry for that, guys. Oh, wow, that is so pretty. Maybe we should try that one on. That's really gorgeous, isn't it? What do we think about the summer collection? It is very colorful. I love that. There again, the lion seems to be a theme. <laughs> we can find the lion everywhere. Butterfly. I really like the butterfly at your book tour. Maybe we're going to see that somewhere as well. That is a zebra. Oh, wow, guys. Look at that. <gasps> so many embroidered beauties. Wow, is that a cute little kitty? Yeah, it looks a little bit creepy, but it's also cute, right? What is this? A bird? Very interesting. Oh wow, they make the micro lady Dior's in crocodile skin now as well. Lots of neutrals, guys. Oh, so sorry for the light vibes. That always happens. Oh, this is new, isn't it? And guys, this is not the crystal bag, but it's similar. <gasps> Can we see the shine of that one? Wow. Dior bobby bags are still there, so I just asked him and unfortunately the bag is not in the boutique yet, but he's gonna ask when it's gonna come out. Um, so basically the bag is cut in this kind of crystal, it's leather guys actually, I know it looks like a hard case but it's leather and the crystal bag is cut in this exact same type of, yeah, leather. This is the one guys that I spotted, I really like it. Um, do we know how much this one costs? <laughs> Is it? Mm -hmm. Oh, for eight, okay. For I mean, years. for an embroidered bag, that is yes. a good price. And these are all little crystals, I guess. Yes. Um, if I've never, I've only had like regular hardware. So if like a crystal like this would fall out at some point, Dior would always service it, right? Of course. Okay, okay, that's good to know. <laughs> yeah, this is of course a really nice little pop of color, and the crystal one is not coming to Europe at all. Cool. Look at these Dior shoes! Wow. <gasps> I'm all up for bling all the time. I mean, can we see that? They are stunning. And they have them in all kinds of different shapes and forms. <gasps> Gladiator sandals. <laughs> Absolutely pretty. And the only area where the light isn't flickering. <laughs> Let's see. Um, what else they have in terms of shoes? Okay, guys. Um, we're gonna go over to Louis Vuitton in a second. I'm so sad. Why do they put this beautiful crystal bag up on the UK website, you know, if nobody in Europe is basically receiving it? No crystal bag. Not at all. They won't get them in Europe anywhere. <laughs> um, only the Middle East and what did he say? I think Asia and the Middle East. Let's go into Louis Vuitton, guys. So this is one of their new little bags. Yeah, not really my style. 
to be honest. Guys, there are no queues anywhere today, so I'm really lucky. <laughs> um, this is one of their new cousin bags. I love patent leather, you guys know it, but this one, no, nah, it doesn't speak to me. Um, some shoes, guys. And let's have a look what else they have here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, some people, we've seen this bag in like a bucket bag version recently, and some people had a very strong opinion as to how it looks like. <laughs> um, this is the Khan version. I don't know if it's like 3D printed, if it's cut out. I don't know how they how they did that, but it's basically plastic. And then they cut the AV and the, the little symbols in it. Here we can see it better. Yeah. I don't know, it's not my style. Again, this one as well. I love Khan bags in general, like the classic ones. This one, maybe because it's not a timeless piece, it's not timeless enough for me, I'm not sure. And again, the same kind of patent material. Oh, and we don't have silver and gold hardware anymore now, the chain. Now we have like this matte kind of hardware as well there. That's the old cousin, of course, with the gold hardware. And yeah, I don't know. So we are in Louis Vuitton. I don't know how much footage I'm gonna get. We see. Look at this little lizard, petite my pretty. Oh, look at these trunks. It's absolutely beautiful. This is Louis Vuitton heritage, guys. And look at these keyboards, guys. Oh, I love this one. Oh, the colors are beautiful. That's from the Sunrise Sunset Midnight Collection, right? I love those colors. I really like the Midnight Collection. This is Sunrise, I think. Um, also, oh, how pretty that is. So here we are. I think I'm gonna be able to show you. This is, I think, from the Midnight Collection. This is Sunrise Collection again. I wish they would have the Neverfull on display because it's such a stunner. They're bringing back the classic AP Alma bags and I always wanted to have the vintage version of this, the Kenyan Fawn color. It's so beautiful. Um, of course, the vintage ones had gold hardware. This one is silver, um, so I still prefer the vintage ones. The dream. <gasps> one of those Louis Vuitton trunks stuffed with beautiful flowers and I love those colors. It's so soft, subtle, <gasps> perfect for spring. Wow, look at this fine jewelry piece. That is rather stunning. I know I'm a sucker for Louis Vuitton plushies and everything. <laughs> this is little Vivian, I think. Really pretty. Love this table. That's quite something. Okay, I would say. Quick look at shoes as well. See, this is proper light bulbs. <laughs> when nothing is flickering, um, that is quality. <laughs> I don't know why Dior is always, and Dior and Selfridges, they choose the worst light bulbs ever. That is something, this is I think satin, but look at how beautifully it shines. Wow, maybe I'm even gonna be a shoe fan at some point. <laughs> because this mirror is just right here guys, I thought I'm gonna show you my outfit again, in action. <laughs> I love this blazer, I think I'm gonna wear this all the time now. And what do we think about Louis Vuitton homeware? <laughs> those eggs. My fiancé always calls them eggs. <laughs> Do we like them? I think they're very 80s, right? This ready-to-wear piece just caught my eye. Wow, that is stunning. It has like little LVs on every one of these chain links. Beautiful. That jacket, of course, as well. Oh, that's so me. And it's time for Chanel. Oh, and there they are. I don't know what happened to me. What has happened to me? Can somebody please explain to me? I saw, the first time I saw them, I was like, oh, they are horrible. They look like, like a, is that the small size actually? No, that's the large. I, oh, that is the small size. That's the first time I see them. So the first time I saw them, I was like, no, it's a bin bag, right? And then the more I look at it, I think like it's such a perfect everyday companion. I mean, guys, let me know what you think. I love them. Okay, so we have all the sizes now together here, finally. I just realized this is the small size, guys, and this is actually the black with the um, white Chanel writing on top, size small. Okay, it's cute, but I think I would still prefer the medium. I tried the large one on. On me, I mean, this model is huge, tall. <laughs> so on me, it looked way too big, the large. The small is cute, and the medium, I think, is perfect. Um, <laughs> why do I love it?
guys, look at this. Such beautiful baby boy and baby girl colors. That one there is also rather stunning. Mini Coco handle. Look at this mint green bag. Trendy CC. It's quite cute as well. Okay, it seems like they don't have any black Chanel 22 bags, uh, nor the beautiful baby pink one. So um, she's currently trying to find a purple one, which I haven't seen yet either, so that would be interesting too. Um, but I think my heart is set on the baby pink one. Again guys, so they gave me the large one to try on again. So it seems like no other bags available. <laughs> and this is a monster, isn't it? I mean, I'm falling already. <laughs> um, I don't like the large size on me at all. I think I want the medium or I want to see the small one, which would be amazing. But not a fan of the black writing on it either. The lacquered black or lacquered white ones. Yeah, not a big fan of white, obviously, as well. Okay, while she's looking for it. This is a close-up. I'm not a fan. I don't know if this is gonna ship in time. You know, I would always stick to gold hardware. Um, no queues anywhere today, guys, except for at Gucci. We just arrived at Harris because I don't want to give up on my dream to actually get a Chanel 22. <laughs> or another look at least again so that I know what I want to do. There's a waiting list, guys. I don't even know if we're going to get in. But I thought I'm going to show you the sparthing suit. It looks like we're not going to get in because it's not only that queue, um, it's like an hour wait. Wait again afterwards as well. And I was already waiting for so long earlier, guys. Um, but hey, I can give you a little sneak peek again from here. Um, it seems like they don't have so many colors and sizes of a Chanel 22 left anyway. Guys, there we have it. Oh my god, this is the bag I want. I think this is even the small size. Oh my god, I wish I could try it on because they say they don't have anything available. And there we have the black. Oh my god, guys, I'm in love. This is the color I've so fallen in love with. Oh, and I just don't know if I want the small or the medium size, guys. I really don't know. Let me know what you think. And also, let's have a quick look at what they have on display. Interesting, interesting, interesting. There's the backpack, guys, with the black lacquered one as well. We tried the large size on earlier. Of course, still love the bags with the thick chain handle. Oh, they actually have Chanel 22 bags here, but I think you have to queue for a long time as well. And guys, look at this. So that's the back side. Um, and this is the backpack version. Yeah, I don't know. This is the white lacquered one actually, not the gold one. I only love the gold. And look at this color. Oh, I want that one. Look at all these little lilac bags. Oh, I think I said it last time. I really like this model. And this is the Chanel 19 with the silver hardware in purple as well. Quick overview at what they have at Louis Vuitton in Harrods as well. Yeah, I always love this so much. Oh, that is the waste bucket. <laughs> Couple of you have called this bag that. That's what I was talking about earlier when we were on Bond Street. Um, yeah, luggage cases. And guys, look at these hat boxes always love the reverse monogram and again this little bag now we can get a close-up i really like the colors i'm just a sucker for pink and another close-up of the little baby pink and baby blue bags so i like them i do like them guys our first look at the sunrise on the go toad it looks so much nicer in reality again i don't know why my camera doesn't there these are the right colors, guys. Oh, beautiful. And there we have a little a small leather good that goes with it, a sunglaze, uh, sunglasses case. <laughs> and yeah, love it. Wow, guys, just a quick look. Look at that. That beautiful Rosa Cura Kelly. And that up there is actually a croc birkin, a mud white, mud cream croc birkin. <gasps> How stunning is that? That was it for today. I <laughs> I mean, at least I'm really happy about that one shot that we got where we see all different Chanel 22 sizes in one frame, basically, right? Um, the small, the medium, the large. Wow, oh, look at this. Spring is finally coming. Yeah, so unfortunately they didn't have that pink one that I've shown you in Harrods. Um, I wish I would have been able to try that one on because that was the small in the baby pink that I really, really love. So that would have been amazing to try it on. 
but hey ho, you know, um, I if I'm still supposed to get it, I will get it. And please let me know your thoughts because I really don't know if I just, you know, it's a stupid idea to buy that bag. If it's gonna be out again in like a couple of months already. <laughs> I know it's not a timeless piece, but maybe it is because, you know, everybody loves to just throw in like a little tote bag, a very casual tote bag. I don't know guys, let me know your thoughts. <laughs> I would have never thought that we get here that I actually like it and want to get it. <laughs> we see how that goes. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed all the lily silk outfits, of course. And um, again, use my code RM12 if you want to get anything from lily silk. Of course, subscribe, you know the drill. <laughs> and I see you again soon. Bye.